everyone! In this video, I'd like to talk about Ka, the acid dissociation constant. So remember, as all Ks go, this is telling us about the equilibrium position. So it's telling us how far to the product side or the reactant side our particular reaction is going. Now when we're talking Ka, this is specific for acids, and this Ka value can actually tell us how strong or weak an acid actually is. So typically, we're going to have a Ka value greater than 1 means we make more product, so that's going to be a stronger acid. If our Ka value is less than 1, that's going to be a weaker acid. So if we take a look at this, we're going to talk about the expression that we have for K. So now the generic reaction that we have for an acid would be the acid in water reaches equilibrium, where we are forming A-, minus, the conjugate base for this one, and hydronium, or H3O+, plus, which is the conjugate acid of water. In this case, water will be acting as a base. So now, with our K expression, we have products concentration over the concentration of our reactants. So over here, our products are A minus, so the concentration here, times hydronium, its concentration there, both in the numerator. And then if we look in the denominator, we have the concentration of our acid, HA. You'll notice I didn't include water in this expression, and that's because its state of matter is liquid. For all K expressions, we never include solid or liquid states of matter. We only include substances that are either gaseous or aqueous. One other thing to point out is oftentimes this expression will be simplified to this one, where basically, we're instead of calling this hydronium, we're going to just say a proton, or H+. So H3O plus and H plus are both referring to exactly the same thing. This is just kind of the shorthand for it. And that's pretty much what you need to know about Ka.